Hello everyone, my name is Trevor with SkySiv. Today we're going to be showcasing the custom DXF import tool in the SkySiv section builder. Upon import, your DXF file can be analyzed uh, for section properties using FEA. And then those section property results can be used in, in an external analysis or calculations, or can be brought directly into one of these SkySiv analysis modules. If the section is made of concrete, you can take advantage of our general section designer which you can look a video, watch a video of um, using the link in the description. The examples that are going to be shown in this video are actual sections made by SkySiv users. So with that, let's get started. So we're going to go through the process of importing a DXF file here. And after we show the process, we'll just be showing the example section. So to start, go to the custom tab, click on the import DXF file button, and then you should be prompted with these uh, questions. The top two options are automatically checked and we recommend that you leave those checked. Uh, you wouldn't really want to remove any previous shapes if you're trying to import a custom shape. And then you would, you would want to automatically translate it to the origin should you want to add any other shapes later. It should be worth noting that spline entities are not supported in the custom DXF importer. So for that reason, you need to create your DXF with lines, arcs, and polylines. Um, the other two importable, inputable fields here that we have have to do with how your DXF file is constructed. So the first value here is the merge points closer than number. So if your, if your uh, points are any closer than 0 0.0001 inches, then they'll be merged into one point. So this as a default value usually works for the majority of sections. Moving on, we have the use straight lines for arcs with radius less than 0.5 inches. Um, this field basically says that for uh, an arc that you have in your um, file that has a very, very small uh, radius, basically where the arc starts and where it ends will be replaced by a straight line. And usually this value of 0.5 inches, um, when it's converted to a, a straight line, does not, does not have a huge effect on your overall section properties. So when those are done, let's hit import file and see what we, see what we can find. So we're gonna start with a simple box section here. You just click on the section. And now we can see that we've been prompted by um, the section builder telling us that we have holes and cutouts in our in our section. And that's um, a commonality in a lot of different custom sections. So what we need to do is we need to identify um, the cutouts or the holes in this section. So we hit close. We can see that here's our simple box section. Um, if we pull away this uh, member or this layer here, we can see that the section builder identifies it as a large section and then a, a smaller section uh, superimposed on one another. So if we just undo that, so we need to understand what is a hole and what's not. So we can obviously see that the one that's highlighted in blue is the one we want to keep. And the one that is now highlighted in blue, we want to cut out. And we can see that the they're also highlighted in the uh, list of shapes here. So if we click on the middle shape, we go to material, and we click on cut out hole. We can see that now our section has that cut out and we can run the analysis from here. So after we run the analysis, we can see that the section is behaving just like any other section we analyze in the section builder. You can get all of the section properties from here. And then, like I said before, you can use these in, a, in any external calculation, or you can use them um, in the analysis uh, models that we offer. You can add more shapes to this section. You can convert it to a uh, point shape and maneuver it that way, change the material. Um, like I said, any type of um, actions that you can make on any other shape can be done on this shape. So let's take a look at what it looks like inside an actual um, analysis file. So our next example is a thin walled aluminum section with some varying um, complexity to it. And if we wanted to zoom in, what I wanted to show is the different types of arcs and polylines that are used in this section. So for example, if we had um, this polyline or this arc, if the radius is too small, then this point and this point would be connected by a straight line. Um, but we can see that with the half inch tolerance that we set, none of these um, curves or arcs or anything are, are going to be committed to that. So just like in the previous section, um, our section is, is working well, but we want to identify the two different uh, cutouts in our model. So just like before, we want to make sure that our main uh, section piece is on the top and then the other two holes are underneath it. So we can click on these two 
and identify them as cut out holes. Just like before, we can get all of the same analysis um, and section properties that you can use for any type of calculation. Let's take a look at this one in our structural 3D example. The last example we're going to show in this video is this uh, concrete girder section. So we have our concrete I-beam here with a type of concrete channel on top. Um, we've already gone through the uh, analysis part of it because there's no cutouts or anything, so we can just import it and then click on the calculate button. But I, what I want to show is if you wanted to um, design this section, you would not be able to do that in the actual RC design module because this is such a specific section. Um, but you can actually design it using the general section designer. And to get there, you can go to design and concrete. And then from here, you would basically follow the menu instructions to import and select the concrete materials, rebar materials, um, identify the rebar position, and then put in the um, loads and then run the design um, based on all of that. If this is something that interests you, make sure to check out our other resources in the description about the general section designer. This is gonna ramp up the showcase on the custom DXF file importer tool in the SkySub section builder, as well as some examples of some uh, real user shapes that we took a look at. If you really enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure to follow us on LinkedIn and Facebook. Make sure to give this tool a try and we're excited to see what shapes you can come up with.